Welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, Coach Evans, and today we're going to take a look at Zay Jones, who had a career day versus the Ravens Sunday. Yes, that's the same Zay Jones that beat us at Oakland on that last minute uh, in overtime. That same guy. So he had two career highlights, so to speak, versus the Ravens. So he ended that, ended that game in overtime, which is probably his best highlight. Then he went 11 for 145 versus the Ravens uh, Sunday. And showing you all 11 of his catches, you're going to see a lot of BS coverage that I think. And um, forget what I think. Just, let's just get into it. Uh, first catch is the first quarter, 8 minutes and 40 seconds left. It's second and 18. Second and 18. You should see him highlighted right, right there at the top of versus Marcus Peters. Again, they're in what I think is cover two. And Peters makes him go inside, which is something we talked about yesterday or this morning, rather. He makes him go inside, but then he widens out. Peters widens out for what, though? There's nobody threatening you out here so why are you widening out stay close to him but he don't he runs a little um runs a little glance right in the open window p queen is sucked up by the tight end so that's kind of why he's not there and then i don't know what the safety was i don't know why the safety was so deep nobody threatened him why is he even backpedaling well it is i guess he's trying to protect the sticks the sticks back there So I guess the coverage is fine because it was third and 18, but still. Oh, not fine. We got the first down. Exactly. Not fine because he got the first down. Wow. Second, third and 18. Or was it second and 18? Whichever one it was. Gave up this shot. Beginning of a good day for him. All right, now it's first quarter still, second and eight. At the bottom of your screen versus Brandon Stevens. Looks like some kind of zone coverage. You're going to get a curl flat. That was going to get a curl flat. Versus cover four. So Queen got the flats. Now, when we talked about cover four earlier, when we were talking about the Marcus Peters things, somebody has to get out here to this guy. And that that's Queen. But again, if it was, if it was, Palms, cover four and palms is two different things. If it was palms, Stevens would have broke on that. I'm not sorry. Yeah, Stevens would have broke on that. And then whoever this guy is right here would have got on top. But this is just regular cover four. So in that, Queen got the flats. He got the middle. He got the flats over here. Then you got your four deep zones. So he just sits down in the zone. You see Queen opening it up for him because Queen got to chase this, this flat route. He got to. If he don't, he wide open. And all that went room he got. And curl flat is one of my favorite concepts versus two or versus three or four. But again, this is the second catch. Let's go to the third. Still first quarter, 125 left. Bottom of your screen, matched up versus uh, Stevens again. It's two man snag at the bottom. Easy. Easy. But again, look how look how far off they are. Look how much cushion they got. Nobody's close to him. Not Queen. Not Stevens. So really, if he want to throw this flat route and let Zay Jones be a blocker, he got that too. But he took the he took the little the little uh hitch, the little hitch, and and went for it. I'm saying, look, the coverage is. I don't know. If they're trying not to get beat deep or what. But it, just watching this was really frustrating. And even even um, doing this video, watching again, is still frustrating. Zay at the top now. And you got Marlowe kind of toward the line, but it should be some kind of banjo. Or they're going to they're gonna run the high route, which is going to mean they're going to bring him behind the line of scrimmage. And when they do that, the toss right there, that fake toss, it faked Queen, but it didn't fake Roquan. Roquan see, see him. He just he took like one step bad. 
and then Zay just beat him to the outside. He took one step that, that kind of messed his, ang his angle up, and then Zay beat him to the outside. So, you know, when you get a linebacker on a re wide receiver, if they got a lot of room to roam, that receiver's probably going to win that matchup. Probably going to win that matchup. But watch the toss, and Queen's going to go out the toss, which he got to because it's his run first. But Roquan sees Zay coming, you know, underneath the route, on the high route. He going to put his eyes on it. I don't even think he take one false step. He take one, and then he see it, and then he come back. So that's, that's good linebacker play right there from Roquan. It's now he's in a bad spot. He took a bad angle. And Zay was able to get by him and get up there for a first down. Play five. Second quarter, 3.33 left. 3.37 left. Bottom of your screen, now I'm working against Peters. We're going to get another curl flat. Another curl flat. And that's a great throw by Trevor Lawrence. There wasn't a lot of room in there, but that's a great throw by Trevor Lawrence. But again, what coverage are we in? That's what I forgot to look at. See, again, Zay's at the bottom. Look like we're in two again. Two behind a five-man pressure. Looks it looks like two behind a five-man pressure. Looks like. Five catches in the first, first half. All right. Third quarter now. At the top of your screen, you're going to get uh, what I put on there. Speed out versus... Look how far off Brandon Stevens is. This is begging... This is so easy. Especially if you got a quarterback that got a good arm. That's too easy. That's candy from a baby. That's candy from a baby all day, every day. I'm assuming they must be terrified of Jones. And I understand it's a bunch, but still. Once at them first five yards, they you're gonna have enough space to figure out what's going on. See? At them first five yards, you know it. But Stevens and Peters got picked on. And Zay Jones had a career day versus both of them. Let's go to the next one. This is the fourth quarter now. He only had one quarter, one catch in the third. It's the fourth quarter when they mounted their comeback. It's still 19 to 10, so they hadn't mounted their comeback yet. Zay at the bottom with the seven yard cushion from Stevens. And he backpedaling already. Now, oh, wait. Let me go back because this should have stopped, but it didn't. All right, Owe's job is to wall him off. So right here, Owe, do not let him get inside of you. But why did they give Owe this job when he can't even do his regular job of pass rushing? Because watch. Starts off walling him off. But the thing is, not to let him get inside, period. Shove him down, push him, do something. He just kind of ride him and let him go. They actually catches this ball behind the line of scrimmage. But because Owe didn't wall him off and keep him out of the middle of the field, Get a first down. He can't even do his job pass rushing, so why you got him doing something else? That befuddles me. But let's go to the next play. Play eight. Now he's at the top versus Peters again. Let's get to the nitty gritty now. Look at that cushion. That's about 10 yards. It's a regular old curl. Because the cushion is so just. I almost, almost, I think they scared. I think they were scared of from looking at this. Got to be. Because they, they didn't give this cushion to some of the better receivers in the league. Just look, just watch Marcus back up. What the, what's the coverage? Let me, let me see what the coverage is first. I, I may be jumping the gun. I may be jumping the gun. All right, so obviously Gino got deep half. I don't know if Chuck is hole playing or deep metal. Not sure. And if it, if it is cover three, if it is cover three, he if it's if it's cover three, Peters is right because there's no flat defender. Are we bringing five? Let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're not bringing. I'm bringing four. So, 
if 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 this is cover three, which I don't think it is, because it could be. It could be. We don't have a flat defender to get up under. So I don't know if that's supposed to be. I think it's Marlowe. If it's supposed to be Marlowe or what. But again, the cushion is huge. The throw is e they making it's, it's easy for for these two guys. This is like seven on seven. With no defense. And are they trying to protect the sticks? Probably. Probably. But it's second down. You give that up. Now you got a manageable third down. You got a third and eight. Third and seven. Because you made that easy for them. Now you're looking at second and 15. So if you look at that, we had them behind the sticks a lot. They kept converting. Come on, defense. Y'all got all the groceries. Y'all got all the groceries. Play nine. Fourth and eight. I need to get them off the field. So this is what I think is some kind of version of cover two, I think, of Tampa two. And the reason I think that, and I could be wrong, and if I'm wrong, correct me in the chat box. Because Chuck, normally in a cover two, the middle linebacker will carry one way or the other up the middle of the field. In Tampa two, rather. In Tampa two. Well, I think Chuck's going to take that responsibility from here. This guy, which I think is Geno, I'm going to go over there and play this deep half. And I can't tell who this is. Got this deep half. That's what I think this is. And then Queen going to drop out right there. That's, so I think this is Tampa 2, but like a different variation of it. A fancy, smancy, don't work way of running cover 2. Or it didn't work way this time running cover 2. A Tampa 2, rather. See, Queen dropped out of there. Marcus made sure he went inside, which is fine. You see Stone getting over top, and you see Chuck kind of lurking. Now, Peters did a great job of carrying that because he has no threat. He did a great job of carrying that, but and because this cat went here instead of more here. Before I before I go on, this is a hell of a throw by Trevor Lawrence. This is a great throw by Trevor Lawrence. Peters does a good job of going up under it, and with Peters up under that, means Trevor Lawrence got to put arc on it. But when, putting arc on the ball is Peters' goal. Any ball that got arc on it, this safety should be able to get it. Chase, he should be able to get it, but he don't. Keep in mind, this is a great throw too now. Peters did his job. The safety just couldn't get there because of the angle he took when the ball was snapped. Them first three steps in that angle he took when the ball was snapped, was screwed. It was screwed. We'll watch it. Watch his, watch his step, his first couple of steps. See? His first couple of, He already... 10, he already 13 yards deep. His first couple steps going to put him at like 16. First down right here. Why not go flat? And then if, if he threads you, then you work back. So now he has nowhere to go. He got to come off of this. And maybe throw this check down down here. But because of your angle, he knew he could drop it in the bucket. And he dropped it in the bucket right there. And again, Marcus did a great job of making him put arc on it. Because he didn't have a, a, a flat defender to go in this cover, too. Your safety just... <laughs> safety wasn't there. I was, I'm going to leave it at that. This tent catch. It's, the, it's four minutes left. First and ten. He's at the top with a huge cushion again. Peters is, what, 11 yards off? Another speed out. Candy from a baby. And now it's second and two. Now it's second and two. And again, they trying to they trying to bleed the clock. We're trying to bleed the clock. It's four to four seconds left. You know, but again, you gotta protect the sideline. You gotta protect the sideline. You just gotta be conscious. You can't just give up free yardage like this. Prevent just prevents you from winning, in my opinion. Then his last catch, which is probably was his best route, other than all of them during curls. He's gonna run an out and up. And Brandon Stevens is going to bite on that out. And he's going to turn that thing up. And it's going to be another great throw by Trevor Lawrence. See, now Stevens is trying to protect the... He is trying to protect the sideline. He, he broke on that. And that's all they needed. You see Stevens with his momentum going that way. And Jones is already starting to turn up right where he's going to go from. One, one, two. How many steps he took? He took one already. 
And that's all he needed. Now, this is a, the ball's already gone. Trevor's already threw the ball. Look at the placement. Look at the placement. Over the corner, in front of the safety. Our DB play was horrible this game. Just straight up horrible. And gave up 145 yards to Zay Jones, who is who was just the average guy. He's not a superstar. But he had a superstar day versus the Ravens. Had a superstar moment versus the Ravens last year. And um, it's really sad that the side of the ball with all the groceries is giving up the points the way they did. Offense scored more than enough points to win this game. Defense, carry your weight, man. You got to carry your weight. But it is what it is now. It's reward, I would say it's water on the bridge, but it ain't because right now they got mad all over again. But um, we'll see what happens Sunday versus the Broncos. Hopefully the Ravens we all like and love show up. But if not, we're going to be here to talk about them again next week. So um, this is not the last video of the week. I got to show some love to the More Simply Talent channel. I got some stuff I want to do over there, probably with uh, with Jacobs, the running back from the Raiders. He had a great weekend. But uh, you can like, comment, subscribe if you like what you saw today. Uh, share it in your in your circles with your Ravens friends, with your Ravens um, group chats and all that good stuff. And you could have been anywhere in the world, but you chose to be here with me. I appreciate you guys. Peace. Not peace just yet. Make sure I thank these people. Make sure I show love for the people that show love to me. I also got to make another graphic for everybody else too. Don't don't feel like you left out. It's another graphic coming for you all. But again, thank you guys. Appreciate it. I'm out.